and this very one, and this one is another law, another indices. Another law. And this one has to do with quotient rule or quotient law. And it has to do with division. It has to do with division. And we still maintain a common base. And don't forget the base to remain x. Okay? I'm taking x as the base. Now we have n as the power. And we are looking at division in this very one. Quotient. Quotient. Quotient has to do with division. And I will still maintain the same base that I have in the N. Please don't forget we have done a case like this under product rule. And we have it ties in between the base. But for this one, we have division. And the rules is it that whenever you have a common base, take one. And we are dealing with division. Take one of the base and subtract the power. But for the one of products, one of products, one of products, simply take one, simply take one, and add, and add the part, like the one of the products. But for division, take one and subtract the part. Okay, now let me now use a number. For this way, I use two, for example, the number we're using two, two power three times two power. To buy for this, we said taking one base become two power three plus two, and we have two power five. And multiplying two five times, we have thirty two. This one has to do with products. We can now carry this very one to this side and change the sign, and I will have two power three divide two power two. Now we still have a common base. Now take one. And minus the powers. Minus the powers. Now we are going to have 3 minus 2. Uh, on the power, we have 3 minus 2. Okay, and um, this is the 2 is the base. 3 minus 2 will give us 1. And the power of 1, remember we have done this very one before, under the law. In this is the power of 1. Okay, whenever a base is raised to 1, we give that same base. It will give the base. Whenever your base is raised to 1. For this one, 2 power 1, I will have 2. Because 2 is the base to give 2 as well. Okay, now, let me still maintain another one. I want to take another base. 3 power 5 divide 3 power 3 power 2, for example. Okay, for this one, I will still maintain the same base. I collect 1 and I will subtract the powers to become 5. Minus 2. Now, okay, we have a base as well. 3. Okay, 5 minus 2 now. We have uh, 3. Become 3 power 3. Now, multiply 3. 3 times. 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times. We have 27. 27 will be the answer there. Okay, let me take the last one. 5 power 7. Divide 5 power. Okay, let me take uh, 3 for example. Okay, let me take 3 for example. I will take 3 for example. Okay, for this one I will have 3, that 5, which is the base. I still have 5 at the base. Okay, it becomes 5 power 7 minus 3. And I will have 5 power, 5 power 7. Okay, sorry. 7 minus 3, we are going to have 4. I'm going to have 4, you mean that 5 power 4, 5 power 4. Now multiply 5, 4 times, 4 times, as you see, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, 4 times. 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 5 is 25 for this part, and this part as well is 25. This 25 times 25, I will have 6 to 5. It will be the answer there. Thank you very much for joining me on this very platform, JB Jumbo Online Mathematics. This one has to do with quotient law or quotient rule under the law of indices. Now we are looking at we have looked at this very one. We have checked this very one, and we are quite okay with it. We understand it very well. We cannot stop at this very point. This one is the last. Discussion under the laws of indices. Now we have looked at these laws. We have studied the laws one after the other. Now now apply them to problems. 
We want to look at problem calculation. We are going to apply it. We are going to use it to these very laws. All the laws we have studied so far, we want to apply them to problem. Thank you for joining me on the platform once again. To the Jumbo Online Mathematics. Please don't forget to go for my YouTube channel, Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. All the best.